Space, the final frontier. This is the two and a half year journey of the build of the Starship Enterprise. Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is stage 25 of the Build the Enterprise kit, the Enterprise D uh, from the next generation, obviously. Uh, you join me as I've been starting out already before you got here, because, you know, not that you're late, just that I started early. Um, I thought I'd do some of the windows before I started, and then finish off doing some of the windows, and then continue on to the rest of the build. Uh, this is one of the most lit up panels that I've yet done. There's very few dark windows on here, and there are a lot of windows. I'm, I'm hoping that they've given me enough. They, they don't seem to have given me an... Oh yeah, no. No, they haven't given you enough light windows for doing all of the light windows. Um, there's only just enough windows to do the thing, but I've still got a couple of spares from last time that I can use to pop into there, because I think they're the same size. I'm, I'm they the same size? I don't know now, hang about. I'm going to have to pull out one of the ones that I know is right and one of the ones that I'm not sure of and have a closer look. I might have to get my uh, box of stuff out. Or indeed, mess around a bit more. They are the same. I'm going to go with what I've got. Um, I've messed up, or not messed up, messed around with the positioning of a couple of the lights and darks, as I always do. I think I've actually put in a couple of extra lights to be honest because these two that one should have been light but those two should have been dark I've swapped those ones over because that should have been dark no I think I've just used more lights than I'm going to pull out one of these and put a dark one in place just to balance it out a little bit here we go so if you're watching and want it historically accurate sorry I'm not doing that and um, the escape pods I've put in at the top there as well now this one is a little bit different to the others uh, in that there's very little meat across the top here. This uh, The escape pods are very close to the top, but they put a black strip across there, obviously to help with uh, light blocking by the looks of it. So that's that. Uh, this is going in there, uh, some BP screws, which I have conveniently left in the packet right next to it. I need three of those. One, two, come on. One more of you come out. There you come. Three BP screws and the yellow end of this. I don't think it matters which wire. I think they're both working out and power up exactly the same, but it's nice to do it as intended. This is going on that angled strip there, conveniently right next to the escape pods that don't want to be lit up. So that's going on there, and this whole thing is then locating. It's there, oh, and that's got to stay in there. I think this is one of those ones without the little tab, so it might not want to stay in there, but we'll see. Uh, I shall get these three screws in there. Hold the lower side in place with all the windows. That screw's not gone in there yet. Say that one as well, yeah. Feels like that's a bit biting into something. Uh, right, I shall play around, get these located in place, make sure the windows are all right. Uh, then I believe, yep, I shall have to bring in the saucer section and we'll get that installed. Okay, this one is going down here, continuing around this way. Uh, now I'm going to ignore what it says about where to take the wires because I don't trust them. I'm going to bring that wire out through here. This bulb has got to go back in over this side, but not until we get it in the right place. It's going to have to come from all the way over there. So that's going in there, that's going in there. Which, yeah, I, I, we couldn't do until we got this in the right place. I, I'm happy with that, although I'm going to pull that through, turn it over, and try and do it. Oh, I'll take that one out. Oh well. Let's separate those a little bit more. Pull that, push, and that goes behind that black one Isn't all right i shall play around with the screws and tightening and things and get that back in place and then we'll see about attaching that into the frame 
Right, I'm happy with how that's gone in there now. So this needs to feed up to about there. No, nope, a little bit further than that. So maybe this wire does want to come through from the other side. Hmm. Put that back out. Redo it again. I'll go through that hole. Although that one's only going through that one. Now that one's got to go through that one. But this one I think will be more comfortable coming through that one. What did it say in the instructions? I can't ever really make these out. That's going over there. It's just going the next one over at the bottom bit. So I'll, I'll, I'll stick with what I thought and what seems to work. Get that engaged in there. We'll bend it up a bit more. That'll be the answer. That seems to be the answer for most of the bulbs on these. If it doesn't fit, bend the wires a bit. You'll be okay. Uh, so I need two DP screws to go in place to hold these in place. We're just using these middle ones at the moment. So let's get those lined up there. We'll get one of these screws into there. Just lightly get that in. The other one will go over the other side. Exactly the same, but over the other side. That one to there, so that's going through there, which is only going to be a little problem when the next panel goes in, like they always are. Uh, and we'll figure it all out from there. So that's that. I'm happy with that so far. Uh, I shall test it off camera because you don't need to see me testing it. I'll also tighten up all the screws and make sure it's all secure. Uh, I'll get this out of the way. We'll come back and do the other side of the neck. Right, more neck stuff. Uh, this is the other side of the neck to the one we did last time. Uh, this one has all of the screws proper uh, the holes properly formed so good for that uh, i did double check we haven't used the am screw that we've got one plus one spare i don't know i did double check through the magazine and see if it mentioned it it didn't but sometimes they give you extra bits here and there so i shall put that in the box ready to be used at another time uh, i've got three bm screws and a single fm screw uh, as ever that one's going to go at the back they're going to go through the three here there's one other bit we've got to do we've got to arrange the wires so they're sort of underneath we've got this one extra bulb which is actually going into the neck assembly it's some sort of uh, little light at the front of the, the neck by the looks of it so that's going to go in there a bit like that as far as i can tell from the picture it all sort of sits in there like that uh, let's get that around behind it so when that's in there we've then got to get the rest of the wires inside and this over there and this other half of that will hold the rest of the, the bulb in place i don't know it's just a bit strange but there we go we'll get the wires lower because there's more room lower obviously that there try and manipulate that to hold that in place and then we can position that in the right place for the screws to go down into there like that i think gonna be another thing at the top there isn't there that's going to use the screw uh am screw there we go just together with a single am screw which is going to go through the top there by the looks of it i can't see oh no it goes through the side right okay I, i've just found the picture of it where it puts it so I haven't got that far yet. So that's going to go through there. The one screw in the middle of those three. Should hold the bottom part secure. I'm just going to manipulate these wires a little bit so they're not quite so uh, trapped. I don't think they're actually doing anything through there, are they? They're not. Yeah. Oh, there is lights up there so i can't move it because there's lights there so that's as good as it gets i think uh that bulb is gonna be in the right place there once that other screw goes down there let's try all of these let's see if that is going to work down there i think it should yeah that's going in the right place so i'll get all these loosely in place Make sure everything is fine. Make sure there's no trap wires. And then we should be good to go. And that will leave one more stage of this to be built in this delivery. But the amount of part works that I've got running at the moment 
and the way that the deliveries have been working, there is a very good chance that I'll receive the next delivery just as this last video, not this last video, the next last video goes live. So hopefully we shall continue our uninterrupted span of um, content. So this is going to go, oh, there we go, through that hole there. So these have got to go much lower than that to not get pinned in there like what they have. They haven't yet. Just everything. So they need to go down there. That one down there as well. Not caught, cool. it's just that it won't go through because oh, of that screw hole. Because there's a screw hole there that's a little bit wider. There we go. That's that through there. The AM screw. Go through there. Creating a little bit of structural stability. Hopefully holding that bulb in the right place. So it's just a little glowy bulb thing at the top. Uh, that's that. I'll get the screws tightened and then that will be the end of this part of the build. If I turn the page and make sure. Yes, uh, that's that. Thank you for watching stage 25. We'll see you soon for stage 26 and onwards for other builds. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye bye for now.